Hi, I'm Dr. Christina Dervatis, an obstetrician gynecologist in Newmarket, Ontario. Welcome back to my channel, Talking IUC with Dr. D. Today's video was inspired by an interaction that I had with someone over the weekend. I thought I would step back and just explain why I'm doing this channel and why I feel so passionately about educating uh, patients and the general population about intrauterine contraception. So just to reinforce that the purpose of this channel isn't to tell you that you need to use intrauterine contraception. The theme and the principle behind this is that contraception is about choice and choosing what's right for you. And I feel passionately that patients need to have the right information um, so that they can make an informed choice. And that includes knowing about all of the options available. And part of the problem and part of the reason um, why I started this channel is that so many patients don't even know that IUC is an option for them, whether it's that they've never ever heard of it or they've heard of it and there are um, misconceptions about whether or not they are able to use the IUC. Um, but the whole purpose of this is about education so that you can make the choice that's right for you. Um, the second theme to, to emphasize, and this is going to perhaps sound stupidly obvious, but contraception is about preventing pregnancy. And as I said in the um, first video, if you really, really don't want to get pregnant, why not choose something that's really, really effective? So I believe in educating patients about um, the options, but including IUC um, because it is one of the most effective reversible options that we have available um, with a less than 1% failure rate. And again, as I've gone through in previous videos, um, I've done a video talking about uh, comparisons of different contraceptive options and their failure rates. A lot of patients aren't aware of the failure rate of their own method that they're using and might not know that there's actually a method out there that may be more effective. So as an obstetrician gynecologist, I have seen so many patients through, uh, through my clinic uh, who are dealing with an unplanned pregnancy. 40% of all pregnancies in Canada are unplanned. Uh, which is a bit sad considering the resources that we have available to us uh, in order to prevent pregnancy. But the fact is, is that the rate of unplanned pregnancy in Canada is very high and it can have devastating consequences. Um, I have been in that moment with patients where I'm actually the one relaying the news, uh, a pregnancy blood test, letting patients know that they're pregnant and this was not planned for them and being there in that moment witnessing the devastation as that person is grappling with that news that they were not hoping for um, really that's what drives me and is what again this channel is all about now in terms of choosing the contraception that's right for you um, one thing that I come across quite a bit in the clinic and with just general interactions with um, with people that I'm talking about IUC, um, the conversation is out there. Thankfully, people are starting to talk more amongst themselves, amongst their friends and social circles, talking about contraception um, and talking about IUC. What can happen is that one friend's or one person's experience might negatively influence uh, another patient's decision as to whether or not she might consider an IUC. So the scenario is, oh, I have a friend and she had problems with her IUD, so I'm going to stay away from that. And a couple of problems with that. First of all, your experience with the IUD, whether it be copper or leave or gestural, may be completely different from that of your friend. Secondly, the symptoms that your friend may or may not be attributing to IUD use may or may not be related to the IUD itself. And here is really where the science and the evidence comes in and is very important. We need to resist the urge to simply associate all things that happen after an IUD insertion causally with the IUD. That is to say, if an IUD is inserted and then chronologically an event happens afterwards, that is not absolute evidence that the IUD was causally responsible, that the IUD caused that symptom. Um, 
So an exaggerated example, if you had an IUD inserted on Tuesday and then on Friday your right earlobe is swollen, it doesn't mean that the IUD caused that. Um, and again, this is where the evidence and science is really important because in randomized control trials, we're able to sort out what is sort of coincidentally happening after an IUD inserted or after a medication is administered versus what is truly a causal uh, relationship. Um, and that's through studies of large numbers, thousands of women. Um, and another thing to reemphasize is that IUC is not new. This is not something that's just being new to the market. It's new as an idea to a lot of people because they didn't know about it. But the IUD and uh, the copper and the levonorgestrel IUD have been around for decades and have been very, very thoroughly studied. That's not to say that more studies aren't always ongoing, but we have many trials involving thousands of women millions of women across North America and um, the planet um, have been using uh, the copper IUD and the levonorgestrel IUD for decades now. So this isn't something new and there are a lot of studies, a lot of evidence that can help us sort out um, what the true side effects are uh, and whether or not a symptom is truly caused by um, the IUD being inserted. So again, just to reemphasize, the goal of this channel isn't to say that you need to use an IUD. The goal of this channel is to give you the tools to make the decision uh, to know what's right for you based on your, your own medical history, based on your um, perhaps menstrual history, based on your goals. Really, this is about giving patients, um, giving women um, the information they need to be empowered to make informed contraceptive choices. So having said all that, um, I, I'll just end there um, and um, perhaps the next part of this video, which I'm going to talk about some myths and um, misconceptions uh, related to IUD use, I'm going to do that as a separate part two video. So that will be next. And Today, instead of just ending with my usual reminder that in less than the time that it took you to watch this video, uh, you could have had an IUD inserted because it takes just five minutes and provides up to five years of worry-free contraception. I'm also going to remind you that if you're trying an IUD and you're not satisfied with the result and there's issues and you're not happy, just remember that it takes just five minutes to remove an IUD. Having it inserted isn't a full five-year commitment. It can come out at any time if you're having problems. So that's for all for today's video. I hope this has been uh, helpful. I hope you will help spread the word about contraception in general and the importance of uh, preventing unplanned pregnancy. I will uh, be back with a video on myths and misconceptions about IUC as my next video. We'll see you then. Take care.